So South Africans living in a working abroad are going to be in a couple of different categories. Yeah. So first thing to identify is those that we don't think are going to be affected. People who are living in a country with a double tax treaty or is a high tax country are unlikely to be affected by the bill. And that's simply because they have a double tax treaty to, to protect them. They're paying tax in a country already, so if they were affected, they would, have the, they would have foreign tax credits to apply to any tax that was payable here in South Africa. So we see quite a minimal effect to, to those people. There is a group of people that are in countries that either have a double tax treaty that doesn't really work in the same way as the OECD model, um, or has no double tax treaty at all. The key issue for those South Africans is to figure out whether they are affected by the residency situation. So if they are considered to be ordinarily resident in South Africa, then this bill will apply to them. And the important thing to remember about residency is the way it works. The first thing that applied that we test for is the ordinary residence test, and then only on failing that we apply the physical presence test. The ordinary residence test is quite general in principle terms and essentially says you are resident in the place that you would return from your wanderings. So a lot of South Africans abroad in non-DTA countries could be affected by this if the, the centre of their life has remained in South Africa and they're now temporarily contracting abroad in a foreign country.